Hey guys, today we're talking about modafinil or ProVigil. Alright guys, modafinil is definitely one of the most popular and popularized and interesting drugs in the nootropic family and there's tons of, of, of uh, media articles about it in Silicon Valley on Wall Street uh, as being the limitless drug from Dave Asprey, Tim Ferriss, it's everywhere. So it is a really useful drug for the purpose of concentration and focus but I'm going to dispel a few of the myths, tell you some of the benefits and tell you some of the side effects. So the main benefit of modafinil is as a wakefulness enhancer. And what that means is it's slightly different from a stimulant and it can, it's most useful for uh, patients that have like narcolepsy or other kinds of disorders um, like working over night shifts and things like that. And a lot of the studies actually focus on modafinil being a tool for military personnel who uh, are doing a lot of, uh, you know, night work or maybe even 24, 48, or even 64 hours of straight uh, combat experience. So in one study, for example, there were military personnel who used uh, modafinil and some used an amphetamine similar to Adderall and uh, over 64 hours. So they were sleep deprived for about three days. And over the course of that period, the study concluded that modafinil was as effective as amphetamine in certain dosages in order to prevent memory uh, decline or a loss of cognitive performance while severely sleep deprived. So, uh, you know, if you're taking this because you feel sleep deprived, it might help wake you up, it might help keep you focused and it is a really useful drug even if you have enough sleep as well because it helps to improve focus and attention. Now, another benefit of modafinil is it is actually doesn't have the addictive potential as uh, Adderall and other amphetamines. So there is some added like dopamine and adrenaline uh, that come from modafinil, but it's not enough to uh, create euphoria or feelings of uh, euphoria or uh, it doesn't have the same addiction potential as the amphetamines. So from that perspective, it's really useful. Now, uh, the side effects are um, you know obviously going to be many when compared to how powerful of a drug this is. So some people consider uh, modafinil to be uh, like uh, causes a lot of side effects in terms of their mood and their personality. And some people complain that it amplifies the stress and anxiety that they already feel, and so they feel even more stressed out and more anxious. And uh, they also talk about tolerance as being a problem. So one side effect is people will take modafinil once and feel really you know, focused and then the next day they take it and they'll feel almost nothing. And so that's one of the reasons why I personally used it once a week or once every 10 days at a maximum. So uh, that's what's another side effect. Now, a, a, a very, kind of uncommon side effects because it just doesn't get talked about much is modafinil interacts with some of the enzymes um, and some of the uh, hormones that are influenced in birth control. So women who take modafinil can actually have birth control um, significantly messed up for lack of a better term. There's a better term for it, but I'm blanking on the term for it. Uh, anyway, if you're, if you're a female and you're on birth control and you're taking modafinil, it can actually cause you to have a uh, little mistake that could turn into a big mistake. So keep that in mind. If you're going to be taking modafinil, practice whatever safe sex precautions you need to make sure you don't have a kid on accident. Um, personally, I had a, kind of a, a histaminergic reaction to modafinil. So that means that I was getting really congested for a few days after taking modafinil. And to me it was worth it because I was 
really focused and doing the, the work that I needed to do, but it wasn't something that I necessarily wanted every day. So like I said, I take modafinil about once every 10 days. So we've got uh, a recommended vendor for modafinil, which is modafinil cat. If you uh, find modafinil from uh, another vendor, you're more than welcome to purchase there. Look on Reddit, they have a full list of, of vendors where you can buy modafinil. And just keep in mind that this is a, a drug that's used as a prescription, so you wanna make sure you actually find the prescription. It just might be produced in India, for example. So go ahead and find that, and you'll have a much better experience. I hope you have gleaned a little bit of insight, maybe got some information uh, about modafinil that wasn't mainstream, like it's the best thing in the world. That's kind of my objective here, is give you a little bit different perspective. Um, modafinil is great, I've used it for, for a long time, but it isn't going to be the magic pill and it doesn't come without its side effects. So just keep that in mind, and like I said, if you're interested in modafinil cat, look above. Alright guys, I'll see you next time.